handoffs. So another aspect of throwing the belt into clean would be to swing with one arm and then clean with the other. So just like an alternating swing, only the alternation finishes with a catch. So one arm clean, swings it, the other one cleans it. And I catch it on the way up just like I would with any other clean. So this is just an alternating clean. Going straight, doing a straight swing through the legs and then back up, only catching it on the other. We can do this with outside swings. The key here is change your stance. So change your stance with the clean so that you're ready to throw it on the other side again. From the side, stance change. So I'm gonna swing and catch. Swing and catch. Swing, catch, and catch. Front swings, the easiest, most useful too, would be to do outside to inside, and then you catch it on the other side because you're crossing the body on the inside swing. So you catch it right after it crosses the body and then you pull it into swing from the side. All the other rules apply, I'm still counterbalancing, keeping tension, especially as the bell dips through the nadir. My arm is staying connected to my body, connected to my ribs. Now you can go inside and then switch. Much more complex. I might not teach this one um, uh, in a class setting, um, but obviously it exists. I can go across, catch it on the other side. The hard part is that I have to reach across my body to engage with the weight versus bringing it over. That's what makes it so tough. I'm all twisted up and I'm reaching and grabbing and I'm bringing it back. But you can go inside to outside um, and then hand off in the middle. Um, behind the back, it's particularly challenging because you gotta catch and then bring it right back up. Um, the way I would do these is I would do practice just handoffs for behind the back first. And not worry about jumping right to clean. Then you can start adding in the clean in between. There you go. A bunch of different variants uh, of handing off the bell in between cleans.